Hey guys, probably the most frequently asked question about playing the flute is how the heck do you hold your breath for so long? It's actually not too different from how you would breathe when you swim or when you sing. Swimmers, you never just stand on your diving board and then you just go You always take a huge breath and then you go in. And singers, would Adele go We could have had it all Why do I even try? My sad excuse of a whiteboard appears again. So here you are. And there's your lungs. I know, beautiful, isn't it? Normally when we think of breathing, we think <gasps> But you're not actually really breathing in that much. You know why? You're really only moving your lungs up and down. You're probably only feeling about like that much. That's not a lot. The way that you want to breathe is that you want to expand outward this way. Alrighty? Outward. You see how the lungs are actually expanded now? Your square lungs have now expanded to an oval lung. How can you tell that you're doing it right? Well, for the ladies, it's pretty convenient. If you feel like your rib cage is actually pushing against the bottom edge of your bra, then you're doing it right. That would totally push against your bra, right? An added plus is that it does perk up the ladies a little bit. For men, I don't know, wear spanks. Or vests, I like guys in vests. This area over here should actually stay pretty relaxed, even though this is actually the place where most people think is where you should breathe. But actually what that does is it creates a lot of tension right here so that the air doesn't actually free flow out quite as flowingly. I really should not be touching myself like this, should I? The lower part of your rib cage is actually expanding out the most. That'll actually really force you to expand from both the front here and the back, because you've got lung back here too. Your lungs actually take up this entire area. Now, if you're a biologist or whatever sort of scientist and you totally know that I'm wrong, you can comment below and tell me. This is how I imagine it to be and it helps me, so it works. One great way of tricking your brain into doing this kind of deep breathing is to kind of imagine that you're Darth Vader. You totally just tried it right now. I know you totally did. I'm just imagining all these people sitting in front of their computers going, No, I am your father. Although in my case, I guess I would be your mother. Now in terms of increasing your lung capacity, the trick that's used the most is probably simply just to try and beat your own record of how long you can breathe out. So like say one day you can only do like five seconds. So you just go and that's all you can do. So the next day you would just try and beat that by like one second or if you're ambitious by like two seconds. Pretty soon you're going to get pretty far along. Cause if you think about it, within one month you'll be able to increase how long you can breathe out by 30 seconds at least. Another way is really just to play sports. Swimming, so I've heard, is the best because you literally can't breathe underwater. I for one noticed that my students who are swimmers tend to be the best at controlling their breathing. Because a lot of flute breathing is not so much about how long you can go, but how much you can control it so you can go for a long time. Now, in whatever music you play, take advantage of rests. If you have like a whole bar before you play, make sure you take that whole freaking bar to tank up. Basically, you don't want to go like First off, your tone is gonna go totally out the window. Your articulation is gonna go out the window. You're not gonna have enough oxygen so your brain can't even think. I mean, you don't even know how many takes I did just now in order to get that somewhat right. Mm. So, take advantage of the rests before you play. finish the phrase. So those are your basic tips on how to breathe on the flute or really on any wind instrument for that matter. If you have any more questions, comment below or go to my Facebook page or tweet me. And if you want to keep up with my videos, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!
I've only shown you two of them, okay? These are just demos. I'm not actually gonna play it for you right now. Oh, fine, okay, I'll play it for you. So A, uh, 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 Pinky. Boo! 